I know that you think probably on our bus slogan is a bit soft. On the other hand, I rather like yeah. it's. Uh, I rather like it's upbeat. I agree with you. Let yeah. everybody I come think round for to it. themselves. I come, yeah, I, I come I agree. Round to yeah. It. yeah, it's funny, um, and it gets people to talk about it. Um, it's not every day that one atheist accuses another of cowardice for refusing to debate a Christian. It's even rarer when both are Oxford dons. Richard Dawkins, the world's most famous atheist, is facing that accusation because he has turned down an offer to publicly debate a man regarded by many as the world's leading defender of Christian belief. Professor William Lane Craig is a philosopher and a theologian with two PhDs from leading universities. He's the author of 30 books and hundreds of peer-reviewed academic articles. Highly regarded as one of the world's, perhaps the world's, leading Christian philosophical apologist. So that has prompted some people, including an atheist philosopher at Oxford University, Daniel Kame, to accuse Richard Dawkins of cowardice in refusing to debate. My interest is that I care passionately about the truth. I just care what's true. They've got nothing really to stand up for. They've got nothing, they've got no decent arguments, so they have to take offence. It's the only weapon they've got. I don't care who you are, what community you come from, or what church you go to, or anything else. I want to talk to you, have a dialogue with you about the evidence one way or the, or the other. We'll have a friendly conversation about it, and I'll win the argument. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. What they plan to do at the Sheldonian Theater in Oxford is set up the stage for a debate format with an empty table, an empty chair, where Dawkins will be given the opportunity to the last minute to show up and, and join in the debate. But if he doesn't, then I'll simply give a lecture uh, criticizing his arguments in the God delusion against the existence of God.